All right, so let's connect these up. Let's connect these four for our positive. You can use any type of wire. I mean, I have this really thin wire, but it'll do the job. You can use one piece and just hook them all together. It's a bit more difficult to do that, so I'm just going to use this. Run down to our terminal. Let's take this off. So, these four will connect straight back up to our positive down the bottom here. These LEDs are not polarity conscious, so you can connect positive, negative, either way, whichever way you want to switch it. Uh, they, yeah, they work so. Next, we have our switching. The outside one here is our common. So that switches between these two, normally open, normally closed. What we can do here is really easily, the other side of the LED, the negative side, we can bend in, solder together with the normally closed, no, normally open contact. So we can solder them together and use that as our trigger for the LED light, as well as our output. So we bend that in and basically solder them together. So this will be our output to our devices. The number tree is a little bit different. Doesn't really matter which side we we switch to. Okay, so what we can do there is we we'll have to bridge it across because it's not going to bend properly. Should do it. Okay. So again, what we need is a negative for our common. So we need a negative here, one here, one here, one here. And we run that back down to our terminal. So let's do that.
Okay. So, there we are for our negative side. Yeah, so we'll go together and we wire them up. Okay. So all we have to do now is wire our devices. So we have our original panel here. Our first switch is our test fire. So we'll take this connections off here. See which one is negative. Which one is our signal wire? One, we don't need the negative. You could actually, in fact, use the negative to wire up your negative side, if you so wish. So let's determine which wire is our negative, which wire is our signal wire. Meter working? Yes, meter is working. So, this one is our negative, which we can eliminate. And this one, we will need to wire up to our output side. Let's do that. Cut the terminal off. In up the wire, solder on drill connections. So, first one. Next one, we have, I believe, our laser switch. No? Laser on is the last connection. So again, remove the connections. Test for our negative wire. Ah! Finally finished with this. Please, please. Let's test which one is our negative. Not that one. Just make sure. Yeah. So again, we can eliminate this negative wire or use it how you want. This is our signal wire. Oh, shut up. Cut our connector off, tin the wire. Connect it on. This one goes over here. Okay. So, that's our laser pulse test. No, yeah, test. This is our laser activating. So what we have left is our LED lighting and our fan. We'll run this up. This also needs to go to the positive side of the fan needs to connect to our positive terminal. So what we'll do is cut this and split the wires. Have I got enough wire? And here. Split the wire. Okay, our fan is our third switch here. So 
basically so come up and connect to our switch fan. Let's get the other wire for our lighting. We'll also come across and come up. And over there. So, cut this back. Positive goes to our terminal. And our other negative switch goes to our switch. And that goes here. Okay. So our two positives from the fan. the lighting will need to connect over here so we can connect all these together now and then test everything okay let's do that Okay, so basically everything should be wired. So I guess we do some testing. Let's have a look. Okay, so I realized the video was way too low. So just a quick explanation on our connections. As we can see here on the top, these are all positive for our LED, connected directly to our supply. And then our negative of our LED, all of them, I've pushed up and are connected together with our output pulse negative. So I just push them up, the LED connection, solder it together, and that's our output for each device. They're all the same, as you can see here too. Just connect it. That goes to our pulse of our laser. This is our, what is that? Lighting. This is our fan. And this is our laser turn on. Sounds weird. Okay. Anyway, that's just the explanation of it. Alrighty, time for the big test. Did we wire it correctly? 
Let's test it out. Alright. We have some motion here. Let's turn our water on. We seem to be having some action there. Let's turn our fan on. Also spinning. Off. On. Yep. Lit up. Looks good. Next, what have we got? Let's test our lights. Ooh, that looks nice. Lighting the whole panel up, as you can see. Air assist. Looks good. Laser on. What can we test? Let's put a bit of paper there. Ooh, power. We have action. All looks good. We can adjust our power. So, looks like we're successful. Alrighty, so basically tidied up all the wiring. Everything's back together. Everything's looking good. All we need to do now is give it a run with a file. Let's try that out. Wait, wait, wait. Alright. Okay. So laser's on, everything's on, everything's working, everything's powering. Uh, let's try and engrave, so this round there is okay. Six, alright. So, you should be good to go. Mr. Computer, let's go. Initializing. There we go. Okay, this gives the bonuses of flashing as the laser comes on as well. We're looking good. Okay, let's have a look. What type of job do we do? Very lion, huh? Sun god. Okay, so everything seems to be working lovely. All right, guys and gals, this basically finishes up this last wiring of the panel. So I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you're feeling generous you could donate, there's Bitcoin and PayPal addresses down below. Feel free to ask any questions and um, enjoy the content, we're making more videos in the future on different topics, a wide range of different topics and um, I hope you enjoy it and stay subscribed. Um, if you have any ideas, any, any questions please uh, put them down below in the comments I try to answer all the all the questions so until the next time thanks very much take care